Hey everyone, it's me Egypt. Welcome back to another thrifting video. The theme of today's thrifting video is like Y2K Winter Princess. Before we get started, I just wanted to say, if you only watch my thrifting videos, you are a fake fan. I post other things other than thrifting. I'm interested in other things other than thrifting. But every single time I post something that doesn't have to do with thrifting, it gets significantly less views than my thrifting videos. So you guys need to fix that. This thrift store is so big. There's so much stuff, but the men's section is like a tiny little corner of the store. When people hear winter and skirts, they think it's not supposed to go together, but the girls are finding ways to wear skirts in the winter. And I found these two denim skirts. I wouldn't wear the Levi's one because the length is not my type, but the quality was good. And this super mini one was so cute. It was $7 and I had to try it on, even though I knew I most likely wasn't gonna get it. Then I found these cool jeans but i don't like skinny jeans and they were tapered in at the end but the details on them they were, they were so nice and they were dkny and they were priced at nine dollars also at this goodwill they have a color of the week each week so this week it was yellow so if you find a yellow tag then it's half off i always scroll through the jeans just to see if i can find some cool vintage ones but i'm very picky with my jeans one because i have a lot of jeans and two because i'm just picky with my jeans This is when I found another pair of True Religion, but they're always priced times two of all the other jeans, I guess, because they're a hot commodity, but I believe they should be priced at the regular price, like around seven, eight dollars like the other jeans, but they never price them that. They either price them 15 or like 25. Also, I've been trying to figure out what my style is because I feel like I'm so into social media that I pick up a lot of different styles of clothing and I, I don't want to put myself in a box, but I also want to really find like what I truly gravitate towards and not what I'm attracted to because I saw it on someone else. And I really do feel like Y2K is like the perfect, I don't want to say aesthetic, but aesthetic for me because the fit of the clothing, the style of the clothing is mostly what I gravitate towards. So low rise jeans, I'm not really into high rise or anything like that, like at all. I No exceptions. I only like low rise jeans and I only like jeans that flare or straight leg. I can kind of vibe with the 90s style because I do like baggy clothes sometimes, but for the most part, I'm definitely a Y2K girly. found this little Lakers skirt and I thought it was so cute and it was actually in the men's section. So that leads me to my next point of looking in all the sections because sometimes people put things where they don't belong. The workers might put things where they don't belong. So you never know what you can find. And I feel like that skirt is, I don't know if I should call it 2000s or 90s, but I'm gonna say 2000s because I feel like it's giving like hip hop Y2K, you know, there's a difference. Cause I feel like there's a lot of subcategories in the term y2k i feel like that's like an umbrella term these are the shorts that i found my for my little brother they're champion shorts and i thought these were cool but the gray part on it was a little bit worn out I also found these and I was gonna get them but they really don't fit into my style. The quality was nice and the colors were cool. It was giving Hulk but like I said I'm trying to be more picky because I, because I thrift so much I've accumulated so much clothes that I do not wear so I'm trying to be more conscious when I shop. But right now I'm in the boys section just looking at the track pants because sometimes you can find cool pants in the boys section. If you wear like a woman's small or extra small then you can definitely fit into a boys large or even like a little girl's large so i always check out that section but it's pretty small found this cute top i feel like it would be cool this was in the little girl section but it would have fit me like as a regular shirt but i didn't need it i do like the waffle knit though and I thought this was cute, but also didn't really need it. And it was really soft. It was like a little turtleneck, a crop turtleneck. 
And here I am just looking through little girl's clothes to see if I can find anything that I fit into. <laughs> no shame in my game. And I found this skirt. It's an Abercrombie little girl skirt. It's literally size 9, 10 girls. But it fits me as a mini skirt, so y'all. The only reason why I filmed this is because it reminded me of old Disney Channel, like Y2K Disney Channel. And that's the type of Y2K that I don't vibe with. See what I'm saying? There's like a lot of different types or subcategories, I would say. But now I'm looking through like the long sleeves and the sweater section. And also the tank tops. I found this, I thought it was cool, but I think it's more of like a 90s style. It was unique and I think it was um, Topshop brand. Throwback to when everyone was into Argyle. Do you guys remember that? I have so many Argyle things and like sweater vests that I do not wear anymore because I was just like a micro trend. This is like a Tommy Hill figure, Argyle top, sweater vest type of thing. That just used to be so trendy and now it's not really anymore. It's crazy. This fits into, I feel like the Y2K style, but I don't really like the color. It's not something I would wear at all. Past me would have definitely put that in my cart, but like I said, I'm trying to be more choosy when I shop. Another thing I'm more choosy about now is brands and fabric composition. I don't want to be that girl, but I'm about to be that girl and say that shopping Shein at the thrift store does not make it sustainable. <laughs> and shopping fast fashion brands from the thrift store does not make it sustainable. It's still crappy material. This is another thing that's like Y2K, but not the Y2K that I like. It was very, very interesting. So interesting that I wanted to try it on. But then I was like, no, I'm putting this back on the rack. Like, girl, what is you doing? Let me talk about the accessories and I'm gonna continue my thought that I was just on. Cool guest bag. I feel like that's very Y2K. Oh my gosh. Take a shot every time I say Y2K because I'm saying it so much and I'm about to say it again. This little little purse was very cute and very 2000s, but I was kind of mad that it didn't have the beads on the back. Like they just got lazy and didn't put it on the back. And then I was looking through belts to see if I could find statement belts. I also saw this bag, which I thought was nice, but it was pretty damaged. So I was like, eh. I love the silver hardware on it though. And the shape of everything was so cute. Another fluffy bag, but it felt super cheap. Then I found this silver belt. I was gonna get it, but once I put it near other stuff, the sparkles started transferring and I'm like, yeah, that's not something I wanna deal with. So I didn't get it. I saw this cool belt, not my style, but I thought the little flower buckle was cool. Now we're in the jackets. This is so, I don't want to say it, but this is so ice okay. <laughs> uh, it had like a little bedazzled heart on the back and it was a girl size, but it was in the woman's section and it was a very thin jacket, but I live in Florida. This was cute too, but not really my vibe. Then I found this pleather jacket and I definitely would have got it if it was real leather. Also found this sparkly dress. I never look through the dress section, so I don't know what came across me today to look in the dress section, but I kind of wish I got that sparkly dress. I think it would have fit me really nicely, but I guess I just wasn't in the market for a dress, so I kind of moved past it. Let me know in the comments if you guys be looking in the, um, the undergarments at the thrift store. Not the underwear, because I feel like that's kind of unsanitary, but like the bras and stuff like that. I like looking at the bras, because I find some cute, like lacy bras sometimes at the thrift. And I love looking through the lingerie. I don't know, even if I don't buy anything from this section, just looking at the little dainty tank tops, I just love it. And then I saw this and it reminded me of Mean Girls so much that I had to try it on. I was like, yeah, I have to try this on. And it's holiday season, we're shopping for winter. So I was like, man, I'ma see what this is about. The tag was scratched off, so I didn't know what size or brand it was. So I was just like, yeah, we're just gonna try this on found more cute stuff. I thought this was super cute and in the theme, but not really my style. 
I thought this was nice too, but I hate when the boob part doesn't have fabric because then it's like, bro, how am I going to wear this? So I'd never get it if it doesn't have fabric to cover the lace. But it was a cute Victoria's Secret piece. And I'm just looking through more cute stuff. Like this one was cool, but it also didn't have anything to cover. And I was thinking about getting that one with the bra on it because I thought it was cool. And now that I'm looking at this, mm, it would have been cute, but it's too much like lingerie. It's okay. I was going to say it's too much like lingerie, but it is lingerie. But I like to wear the lingerie pieces like as a top, you know, and that's too much like lingerie. So I was like, eh, I'll pass on this. I thought this was cool but they didn't have a size small it had a bunch of um the zebra ones that came with little shorts i thought it was so cute but they only had me to medium and large so i didn't get to get a pair because i wear a size small and extra small and the medium just wasn't gonna fit i also thought this one was really pretty but the cups were so hard i don't know why and this one was so cute why didn't i get that one that one's so pretty this one was pretty too they're all just so pretty and i can't wait to have my own apartment because then i'm just gonna get a bunch of these and like wear them around the house it's gonna be so cute i also saw this victoria's secret sleep shirt but it had a lot of um pilling and snags on it so i was like eh, not really worth it and then this little plaid skirt i did put in my cart then i went to like the athletic wear section and i found the matching top to the lakers skirt but i don't like the lakers that much to have the full outfit and i think it would have looked tacky if i got the top so i didn't get it and look what i found guys a juicy couture this one's more like terry cloth than velour but girl i didn't have to even think twice about putting that in my car now we're going to try on the items the jackets i tried on on the outside just so i can like knock them out because sometimes they have a limit of what you can bring in the dressing room so i was like let me just try these on now and i really like the fit of that one but the material just eh, was it was literally 100 percent polyester which means 100 percent plastic so i was like yeah i'm not getting this then this one i felt like the sleeves were way too short and the pockets were so small like what am i gonna put in that pocket a lip gloss that's it this one I didn't show you guys when I was shopping. I thought it was cute. I thought the fur part was cute, but the sleeves were so short and I need my sleeves to be a little bit longer. And of course, I don't even know why I tried it on because I knew I was going to get it. And yeah, yeah, this green is really pretty. Not really a color I'm really wear, but it's Victor it's Juicy Couture jacket. So I was going to get it for $8. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Now we're in the dressing room and I also bought my tripod. So we have a different angle of trying on something different, you know, going to try on these pants. And while I try this on, I'm going to talk about what I was talking about because I didn't finish talking about it. But like I said, if you shop Shein at the thrift store, I just want to let you guys know that it's not really that sustainable because the quality is not good. It's not going to last in your closet, even if you're buying it from the thrift store. It's like the same price that it was on Shein. So it's like, eh, you know, 100% polyester. You guys should definitely, if you're into clothes and stuff like that, you should definitely research fabrics and stuff. I took a class in college about clothing production. I think ever since that, my brain chemistry has completely changed when it comes to clothes like every time i see clothes i have to look at what it's made of even when i'm shopping online i'm looking at what it's made of because if it says 100 percent polyester i am very much less likely to get it because that is literally plastic you know like i love to see when things say 100 percent silk or 100 percent cotton because these are natural fibers you know so just something to keep in mind if you want clothes that last you and clothes that you're not going to want to get rid of very fast then I definitely suggest, you know, caring a little bit more about what you put on your body and what you have in your closet, valuing quality over quantity and just being more conscious because just because you thrift does not mean you're a conscious shopper and it does not mean you're a sustainable shopper because you can definitely overindulge when you thrift. You can definitely make terrible shopping choices when you thrift, especially if you thrift a lot. So it's just something to keep in mind. That's my little spiel. I feel like I'm going to talk about that every time I post a thrifting video because it just always comes up and it's always in my mind so yeah but that was me trying on this little mini skirt it was too wide on my waist but I still want to try it on because I felt very y2k <laughs> I hate saying that now it's so annoying anyway Now we're gonna try on the Lakers skirt. I feel like this is like gives me, like I said, it gives me like hip hop vibes. The way that I'm gonna style it in my head, it's giving me like hip hop Aaliyah vibes, you know, like, you know, you know. Thought it was so cute though and it really fit nicely especially with rolling over the hem i really like it i think it's gonna be very very cute then i got this i want to say pencil skirt which is so 2015 i don't know 
<laughs> I did not like it though. I was like, oh hell no. <laughs> I, if it was shorter, I think I would have liked it more. But yeah, I, did, I really did not like it. And the material wasn't that good. I feel like this one was definitely giving Shein. <laughs> <laughs> but this one I liked. You know, it had more detail. It was pleated and Abercrombie. And when I was younger, Abercrombie was like the only place I liked shopping because I was like, I don't want to body shame myself, but I was built like a twig. So that was like one of the only clothing stores that ever fit me. Like all my friends were shopping at Forever 21. I could only shop at Abercrombie because Forever 21 small fit on me like a medium or a large. So gotta love Abercrombie. And this fit me really cute for a nine to 10 year old skirt. <laughs> which is like damn am i built like a nine-year-old like is that what this is trying to tell me anyway i really felt so cute in this and i can kind of imagine it with a black skirt under kind of to go along with the whole mean girls vibe wait is this the end oh my gosh guys this is the end <laughs> thanks for watching stay tuned for the haul I'll be your home,